Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D-Lord and welcome to episode number 17 of our Philadelphia Eagles Madden 16 Connected Franchise Series. Now we are currently in week number 14. We are 7-5. We're taking on the 2 and 11 Buffalo Bills. And we pretty much need to win three of these last four games if we're planning on making the playoffs. Hopefully, we can get a win here against the 2-10 and 10 Buffalo Bills. But Mike Vick has been named the starter, as you've seen in the last video. And he is coming onto the field first with the football. The first play from scrimmage, we're going to hand the ball off to DeMarco Murray. He will take that one up the middle for a first down. Now, two plays later, DeMarco Murray gets the football once again. He's going to take that one for another first down for the Eagles. Now on second and eight, Vick is Rolling out to his left, and he will complete this one to Nelson Aguilar down to the 16-yard line. Now on second and six, this is DeMarco Murray getting the rock yet again. He's taking this one to the six-yard line. Now later on, it is first and goal. We're going to hand this one off to Darren Sproles, who gets in there for the touchdown. So we will score on our first possession of the ball game. And now we're giving Tyrod Taylor the football as he is trailing by seven points. 11 touchdowns to 11 interceptions so far this season but on their first play from scrimmage they will hand it off to LaShawn McCoy he will lose three yards but on the next carry you see Shady McCoy get a couple of yards on that one a gain of nine actually now later on is third and four this is McCoy on the slip screen he would not get the first down tackled by Malcolm Jenkins so we will get the football back so here comes DeMarco Murray as we are trying to pound the rock the remainder of the year it is second and two right here we're going with a QB read Mike Vick keeps it Breaks a tackle and slides down safely at the 47-yard line. Now second to seven. Vic is rolling out to his left. Throwing it. And this one will be intercepted. And we will end up bringing them down at the 48-yard line. So the first turnover of the ball game gives Tyrod Taylor the football at near the 50-yard line. But he gets brought down for a sack on their first down. Now second to 17. They hand it off to LaShawn McCoy who breaks a tackle. And he takes this one down to the 46-yard line. Now third and four. Tyrod Taylor is throwing this one up. And this is Percy Harvin who comes up with the reception. And that will be a touchdown. So this game is all tied up at seven apiece. Now in quarter number two, we have the football once again. And handing the football back off to DeMarco Murray. Like I said, I'm going to be pounding the rock through the remainder of the season. Right here at third and three, we're going to dump this one off to DeMarco Murray. He will pick up the first down. Now it is first and ten. Mike Vick going with the play fake. Rolling out to his left, throwing this one to Darren Sproles, who comes up with the catch. Gets a couple of blocks, and Darren Sproles is going to take this one down to the 30 yard line now later on it is third and 10 Mike Vick's going with a play fake he's going to roll out to his left he doesn't see anybody so he's going to keep it himself and he will rush for a first down now later on the next play we're going to go with a slip screen to DeMarco Murray he's going to catch this one get a couple of blocks and he's going to take this one down to the eight yard line so now second and one handing off to Murray yet again he's going to take this one down to the four and then on second and goal we're going to throw this one to DeMarco Murray on the quick pass and that will be a touchdown so we're back up 14 to 7 is the score three minutes now remains in the first half Tyrod Taylor has the football he's going to find his tight end Charles Clay on the corner route that's going to take him down to the 45 yard line then the next play LaShawn McCoy he gets a carry He's going to take that one for a gain of seven. And then on third and three, Tyrod Taylor is going to keep it. And he's going to take a beeline straight out of bounds. I don't know what he was doing. I think he was trying to stop the clock. I'm not sure what was going on there. But on second and five, they're going to throw a slant route. That will fall incomplete. And then on third and five, Tyrod Taylor is going to find his man, Sammy Watkins, for a first down. So on second and seven, later on, Tyrod Taylor is going to try to scramble. He will get a couple of yards before being brought down at the 16-yard line. Then on third and four, we are going to blitz. Tyrod Taylor is going to break out of a sack, but he will eventually be brought down for a sack at the 23-yard line. The Buffalo Bills will have to settle for a field goal, and they give us about 30 seconds to try to get something done on offense. So right here at the second and 10, Mike Vick rolling out to his left, looking downfield, and he is going to find Nelson Aguilar, who comes up with the reception, and he will be brought down at the six-yard line. Now the very next play, Mike Vick is going to find Josh Huff on the drag route. He will take this one down to the one-yard line, and then the play after that, we will find Brent Selleck for a touchdown, and that's going to take us to halftime with the lead. We're up 21 to 10 against the Buffalo Bills, but Tyrod Taylor and the Bills get the football first, 
in half number two. And now on the second play from scrimmage, they're going to hand this one off to LaShawn McCoy, who has a hole, and he's able to take this one down to the 36-yard line, again of about 15 yards. Now later on at the second and 11, they're going to find their tight end. He will come up with the reception, making this a third and two attempt, which LaShawn McCoy will convert. So now they have the, the football near midfield. First and 10, they're going to hand this one off. This is Dan Heron taking this one for about 11 yards. That will move the chains, and they are now in Philadelphia territory. Now the next play, Tyrod Taylor is going to get hit as he throws it, and this one will be completed to Percy Harvin down to the 22-yard line. Now they're going to go with one, another play fake, but Tyrod Taylor cannot find anybody open as the pressure was able to get to him. He will be brought down for a sack. Second and 21, now they hand it off to LaShawn McCoy. He goes pretty much nowhere. It is now third and 19. They're going with a play fake. Tyrod Taylor throwing this one into the end zone. And believe it or not, they will rule this one a touchdown. Robert Woods did not look like he ever had possession, in my opinion. But they give him the touchdown anyway. And they did not allow me to even challenge this play call whatsoever. So, the Buffalo Bills get a touchdown. And I don't know, it was kind of iffy. You let me know in the comment section below, do you think that is a touchdown reception or not? But anyway, we have the football on our next possession. And you see, we're going to hand this one off to DeMarco Murray. He gets about nine yards. Now third and inches, we're giving it back to Murray. He's going to take this one down to the 39-yard line. That will be a first down. First and 10, we're giving it right back to DeMarco Murray. So he's getting a lot of carries in this ball game. That is, once again, another first down. But right here, Michael Vick has a terrible play read on that QB read. He loses some yards. Now it is third and eight. Mike Vitz will look to his left and he will find Josh Huff on the sideline for a first down. So now we have the football at the 34 yard line. We're looking deep into the end zone. Nelson Aguilar, but he could not hold on to the football. So it is now second and 10. Mike Vick is in shotgun. He's going to step up and he will run this one himself, sliding down safely at the 25 yard line. But it is third and one. We're handing this football off to DeMarco Murray, who breaks a couple of tackles and he is still on his feet. Taking this one down to the 13-yard line. Now, we're in the fourth quarter. We're going to throw this one. This one will be caught. And this one will be taken to the crib for a touchdown by Zach Ertz. And we're up 28-16. to Tyrod Taylor down by 12 points. 10 minutes to go in the ball game. So he needs to go to work. He's going to complete this one to Charles Clay. He picked up the first down. Now the next play. They're going with a play fake once again. Tyrod Taylor will complete this one to his tight end, Charles Clay. And this one will go for about 7 yards. So now second and 3. Tyrod Taylor is looking for the slant route. He will overthrow his receiver. So it is now third down. We're trying to get off the field. Tyrod Taylor is looking to his left. And he will complete this one to Robert Wood. So now the next play from the 43-yard line, they want to complete this one on the drag route to Robert Woods once again. And we will be called for a face mask penalty. So they will add 15 yards to that play. And right here, LaShawn McCoy, he's going to run hard. He will pick up about 10 yards. So now it is third and goal. You see Tyrod Taylor stepping up into the pocket. And he will get into the end zone for a touchdown. So he will cut into the deficit a little bit. The score is now 28 to 23. But we get the football. And we're handing this football off to DeMarco Murray with six minutes left. We're trying to run out a little bit of clock. But right here it is second to five. We decide to throw it. Michael Vick is going to roll to his left. And he will be brought down by Manny Lawson for a sack. So it is now third and ten. Mike Vick's going to drop back. And he is going to find Nelson Aguilar who comes up with another reception. And he will take this one to the crib for a touchdown. So we are now up 35-23. And that's going to bring Tyrod Taylor onto the field. Only four minutes left. He needs a score. And he pretty much needs a score on this possession if he has any chance of winning this game. He's rolling out to his left. Throwing this one deep down the field. And this one will be picked off by Michael Jen Malcolm Jenkins. That will be the end of the ball game. We end up taking this one 35-23. We advanced to 8-5 on the regular season. The Bills dropped to 2-11. And, and like I said earlier, our player playoff hopes is very much alive. As long as we continue to win out, we will be in the playoffs. Michael Vick, 14-23, for 239 yards, 4 touchdowns to only 1 interception. Another fantastic game for Vick. DeMarco Murray, our workhorse back, 23 carries, 162 yards. He also led us in receptions as well. But 
That is it for this episode. As always, let me know in the comment section below who do you think is the player of the game? How do you think Michael Vick did in his first start being named the starter for the rest of the season? Let me know that in the comment section below. Also, please leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D Lord. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.